I'd like to introduce you to our first speaker, Dr. Mona Niemer. Dr. Mona Niemer is Canada's chief science advisor, reporting on scientific matters directly to the Prime Minister of Canada and to our Minister for Science. This helps in their decision making and shaping a brighter future for the entire country. Previously, Dr. Niemer was Vice President of Research at the University of Ottawa and Director of Molecular Genetics and Cardiac Regeneration Laboratory. With over 200 beating hearts in the theater today, we can be thankful to Dr. Niemer for her work that contributed to the development of diagnostic tests for heart failure, plus other research. Among awards and honors, Dr. Niemer is a member of the Order of Canada and a fellow of the Academy of Sciences of the Royal Society of Canada. Please welcome to Perimeter Stage for the first time, Canada's Chief Science Advisor, Dr. Mona Niemer. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Marhaba, guten tag. Any language you want. Thank you, John, Amy, Neil, and everyone here at Perimeter for inviting me. It is, like you said, my first visit, and I guess I've chosen the perfect day to be here uh, with you. Of course, I had heard a lot about the Perimeter Institute, a, a, a great, great institution, not only in Canada, but around the world, and, and uh, certainly something that we should all be very proud of. I had heard also about the architecture, and I was delighted to see it. Above all, I'm delighted to be in an institute for, uh, that's dedicated to physics. Well, I was uh, trained as a chemist, and as chemists, we always said that, that physicists were actually wannabe chemists. So keep this in mind. <laughs> Seriously, I'm delighted to, to, be, to be here and uh, to see all the, these brilliant uh, women in the theater of ideas. I think you're going to have a lot of ideas, and I hope you will enjoy uh, the day immensely. The day is about you. It's about present and future women in science and also in engineering. Engineering is, after all, applied sciences. To those of you joining us online from around the world, I say welcome, ahlan bikum. We're delighted to be connected with you for this wonderful International Women's Day celebration. So I, I wanna thank the Perimeter Institute for uh, hosting and facilitating uh, this day. In addition to the world-leading research that they do that I mentioned before, I am uh, absolutely uh, delighted and impressed by the great center of science education and outreach. I think this is an activity that is certainly as important as the great science that happens within the walls of the Institute and also throughout the world, I guess, uh, throughout our connections. Uh, Perimeter is a leader in providing opportunities to advance women. One of the Institute's great initiatives, the ME Northern Initiative, was created to ensure opportunities for women at all career stages, in research and in training. I understand that this year's Perimeter International Scholars Master level class consists of 31 top young minds, 14 of whom are women. Bravo, let's go girls. This is an important achievement because more women in science today means even more women in science tomorrow. It's not only good for women, it's actually good for society. Representation matters. Role models matter. It's important that we see ourselves reflected in the community of scientific leaders and achievers. You'll hear from many of them, and I urge you to take advantage of their presence. In my own work, having a female role model was one of the most important external influences on my career. The other being the great mentors who helped me along the way. In your education or in your career, there may be times when you find that you're the only woman in the room. You may at times be seriously challenged to find someone that you identify with. Well, hang in there because that's changing. 
The days of women being held back or excluded from science are over. Now more than ever, women are entering, remaining in, and revolutionizing the science field. Today, I think, is a shining example of that. We're going to have 20 women share their experience uh, with you. And these women come from across disciplines, a surgeon, astrophysicist, ecologist, and engineer, even chemist, did I mention chemist? are among the speakers who will participate in our event today. So there is a bright future for all of you in some of the most challenging and exciting fields of the future. And today, you'll have a chance to dive in and learn more. This is a great opportunity for us all to reach out also across disciplines. This too is very important because addressing the major societal challenges and actually addressing our ambitions as a society requires multidisciplinary collaborative approaches. As many of you already know, STEM skills are applicable across disciplines, but also across career choices. They help build resilience, solve problems. Can you imagine any career choice where you're not going to have to do this. So these skills are transferable. They're transferable to new settings. So they build adaptability, which is critical for your future. So I hope you'll make the most of today's opportunity. Ask questions, engage in discussion, and speak up. Make your voice heard. In your discussions, I also invite you to give some serious thought and reflection to the ways in which we might more quickly bring about change, bring about a system that supports all of us, a system that enables the best, regardless of gender, ethnicity, and culture, to participate fully in the advancement of science and the advancement of society. I am certain that together we will get there. So, happy International Women's Day, everyone. Have a great conference, and go girls, go. Thank you.